welcome to Listertainment, where you expect the best list, but they always disappoint you. This is going to be the third part in the most useless martial arts series, that you should never learn. Do not spend your money or your time with these martial arts because you are going to be disappointed and also you will get your ass kicked if you ever get into a fight with somebody. Especially if they also have training in the styles that actually do work. And if you like this list, please give it a like down below and subscribe. Also turn on notifications and share it on all your social medias. And uh, please let me know in the comments which other martial art you consider to be useless and inefficient. Beginning the list, we have this style called Yellow Bamboo that was founded by Pac Neoman, Serengan, and Elvin Donovan. It is very similar to the styles we saw in the first part of the series because they also think that they can use their internal strength known as Chi or Ki. Apparently, there are different levels in this martial art from 1 to 12. And apart from teaching you how to defend yourself using chi, it also teaches you to concentrate your inner strength to do positive things in your life. The part where this style is different from others is that practitioners want to get closer to God and thus be able to receive the physical and internal protection of God. This helps you in having better health and defense in combat. The way they use it is by using their inner strength and they throw invisible balls at their opponent that make them fall in pain and end up incapacitated. Watching these videos also seems to require you to shout as if you were being stabbed. This type of martial art is a farce and this can be seen in this video where a person who does not get carried away by this stupid shit decides to challenge them to a demonstration. They should be ashamed after this happens or they always use the old excuse that the person who lost did not believe enough or was not sufficiently advanced in the program. Real life is not Dragon Ball Z or Star Wars, so stop believing in this bullcrap for God's sakes. Gus Caperos is the founder of Green Cloud Kung Fu or Kung Fu School of the Green Cloud, and has a school in New York in the United States. This so-called Kung Fu teacher has told many lies that makes his students believe that he is legitimate, but he and his style is complete bullshit. One of the biggest lies is the fact that he used the name of Chan Tai San, who is a great teacher in Kung Fu. Caperos named his style and studied after the monastery of Chan Tai San, but he is so dumb that he misrepresented the name, and after knowing this, he still did not change it. The correct name was Clear Cloud and not Green Cloud. So with this, we are seeing that his so-called Kung Fu style doesn't work. He is just a big charlatan. He says that he has trained in different martial arts, including Muay Thai, since he was a child. But in this video, we will see that that is not true. And that he really does not know anything. It's as if we were watching any regular person in a street fight. Starting off, we can see that a jab makes him lose all his composure and almost falls back, taking his eyes completely off his opponent. We can also see that when you put your hands down or you try to catch your opponent's punches in the air, you are not going to be able to do it and you are going to get hit very easily. He turns his back too quickly and tries to hide like a turtle. It is much better to raise your hands like a boxer and move your head to avoid getting hit. This person is a complete joke who takes advantage of people who really want to learn how to defend themselves. This martial art is called John Son Do and was invented by Joe Sun. And if you see this picture you think you might recognize him, it's because he was in several movies including the most famous Austin Powers, where he was called Random Task. He was the killer who threw shoes. I couldn't find much information about his martial art, but if we look at his history in MMA, it is better that you never spend time or money learning this martial art. Thinking about it, I can't imagine that there is a school teaching this technique because Joe Sun is in prison. First, he was arrested for raping a woman in 1990, but the deadline to prosecute was over, so he was sentenced to prison for torture. Then he killed another prisoner, and uh, basically, he's never getting out of prison. 
But if we look at his record where he lost 5 professional fights, we can see that his style doesn't work at all. First, he lost to Keith Hackney through a strangulation using his fingers only, which is very difficult to achieve. But the famous videos where they hit him in his groin several times. And then he lost to Nobuaki Kakuda when he was knocked out, although he had started this fight very well. And uh, we reached the point where everything becomes a joke. He fought Yozuki Imamura where he surrendered after a fall where he said he was injured. He also gave up in the 4th and 5th fights after being hit. In the 4th fight he was beaten and was bleeding and no longer wanted to fight. In the 5th fight he fell on his head and got injured again and he also gave up. The funniest part is that the 4th fight the record puts his defeat by submission by terror. Dim Mac is another martial art that promises very big things since they say that its punches and techniques can kill a person. The name used for this martial art is also the touch of death or fighting against pressure points since everything is based on putting hits at these points that can cause great damage to the body. Most of these points are located in the same area as acupuncture points. And the problem with this martial art is that the hits have to be exact and precise for them to work. So in a street fight it is not going to help you much if your opponent is moving fast and is throwing punches back your way. Also their big claim that they can seriously hurt or kill someone is very controversial. Especially if you watch these videos where they hit with very little force like it was nothing but cause serious damage. It is true that there are hits that can kill a person but they are very rare and it's a phenomenon. An example is the commotio cordis which is a blow to the chest that does not necessarily cause physical damage but it can stop the heart. And this rarely occurs and it might happen in sports like hockey or baseball. There are also many studies where they have proven that acupuncture points do not really matter more than any other point in your body. So any martial art that is based on using these points has to be fake. For many, this martial art is probably the coolest one because movies make it look amazing. We also can't forget about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or the Ninja Power Rangers. So we are obviously talking about ninjutsu here, which is really a martial art that nobody should spend time learning. This martial art has a recent history of only taking money from people and raising them quickly through the ranks without really teaching anything that can help them. As I said in my other videos, this will only give people a false sense of security that will just end up hurting them. Ninjutsu instructors like to say that they can teach you punches and techniques that will allow you to kill anyone, but there is no way to try them so you will never have the experience when you really fight with someone. Also killing a person with just one hit is rare as explained in the last entry. They also only do minimal contact sparring since they claim that their movements are too dangerous. This way of explaining the reason why they do not train in real life situations or with full force is very convenient since if you believe this, you will never doubt the effectiveness of the movements and techniques until one day when you get your ass kicked after trying one of these so called deadly moves. You need to gain experience or else there is no value in any martial art you learn. Well I think that this list is a little less controversial than the previous list, but I think you will still destroy me in the comments anyways, so I'm getting ready. Hiya! I'm ready. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.